Okay. Hello. Hello, welcome to the Lang's 60 day reboot. Today is day 59. Babe, that means we have one day left. That's yes. really and weird. that's tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous because I still have a lot to, I still have a lot I want to lose. So, but yeah. I'm really glad of where we've how many, how many more do you have to lose? Uh, 20 or 30. So, yeah. I, I'm about halfway. And I've got about 30 to lose, so I'm about two thirds of the way. Awesome. So I'm freezing. That's why I'm wearing my coat. I just I don't know if it's losing the weight and don't have and enough fat. And because your coat looks really nice on you too. Sure. Yeah. No. Yeah, it does. Thank you, baby. Or this really nice guy got it for me. So give us your update real quick. But I'm cold. Um, no, I'm I stayed the same, and part of it um, is not just the workout. Um, it's that girly thing that happens. You it's know. the most wonderful time of, of the, the month. month. Anyway, so that's why I'm gonna stay the same, which is really sad for the end of the diet. I was really hoping that. Mm. That wouldn't happen, that I could weigh in without that happening, but you? I um, went down the two pounds that I had gained yesterday, so I kind of went back to having lost 59 pounds. So we'll see if You'll I can cross something. over tomorrow, and then we'll weigh ourselves one time on Sunday, and that's kind of the culmination of the day 60, um, so we'll see where we're at. Can I wait till Monday to weigh me? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, anyway, um, so yeah. So nice tip. basically, it was interesting, as you're thinking about giving you tips and ourselves tips on how to live healthy, healthy after a 60-day juice diet, um, we went out and bought this milk. Actually, Laura bought this milk. It was 2% milk, and um, I... That's a whole organic milk. ...found that when I tried to pour the milk out, nothing came out. But it was a full gallon of milk. And she had just bought it like a week ago, so I knew that it was not like, you know, rotten, those kind of things. And I looked down inside the, the, the gallon, and there was like this white layer, and I had no idea. Anyway, um, apparently it's cream. Apparently those of you who are like me, who've never actually been on a farm or anywhere near raw milk, have never seen cream on top of milk before. And it was an interesting experience. My, my uh, middle son called it marshmallows. And, uh, but tell us about kind of what that, that means for people. Yeah. So we're actually making a switch. We're heading towards the Western Price um, type of eating and dieting. So check it out. They have a website. Um, but what we actually had was not raw milk. It's an organic milk. We kind of did small steps towards it. So it still is pasteurized. Um, but we are starting on raw milk this next week. And part of why we're doing that is um, I've always heard my entire life that I'm lactose intolerant. And um, what I'm finding out is that in pasteurized milk, my sister, of course, knew this, being in culinary arts, um, it takes all the good bacteria out of it so that it's hard for your body to actually digest. So I've heard that a lot of people go on the raw milk and have no problem with dairy. Um, so we're going to give that a whirl and see what happens. I'm sure we'll update afterwards to let you know how and it is. And I think, too, you know, I mean, this is something that will keep you healthy as you go in the long term. So. I think that diets or things that we've just been doing for the last 60 days are really important to kind of get you done to the way you want to be. And once you're there, eating the well balanced diets will really help you to kind of maintain a healthy body. And if you can and do it, mine. if you do it in moderation, yeah. then you'll you won't gain weight. In fact, you probably will lose or go, go continue to maintain a healthy lifestyle, or lose weight if your body feels like you need it. So, yeah. so there you go. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, the last day. Bye.